The Namavia Green Towns Project is an initiative to assist local authorities in their quest for sustainable waste management that has economic benefits. About 10 towns in the country are currently participating in the pilot project, with Bluedrets being the latest addition. 40 to 60 percent of household waste, their food waste, are we together? So the waste can be turned to compost and you turn to horticulture crops where you can have, even from household, you can compost your, your waste, your food waste, and also, you know, make your own garden. You don't need to buy fertilizer or any compost. Namibia Green Town's project is spearheaded by 160 trained youth who are tasked with setting up infrastructure for resource recovery from waste. One Nantinga, a representative of Hangana Abalone, commended the Namibia Green Town's project for the initiative. Looking on the geographical location of Ludrit, I wouldn't think with our population that handling the waste in Ludrit as if we are in an eco park that it will be impossible. I think with everybody's contribution from the stakeholders, from every household, everything will be possible to implement and for us to secure our environment for the long years to come. Each of the 10 towns participating in the project will set up their respective subcommittees that will be linked with the project. Benjamin Botma, the manager of Ludrets Cleaning Services, says Ludrets, with its frequent winds, normally experiences waste being blown all over the town. This, he says, creates a negative image of the town. We are here in Ludrets where the wind blows everything away. I think it should start with education at each house where children can be shown how to sort out waste in different categories and there should be a place where we can take our waste to be sorted further. Namibia Green Town Project will join the rest of the world in raising awareness on World Cleanup Day, slated for the month of September. The aim is to ensure that by 2030, no waste is sent to landfills. Na Tangwe Jimmy NBC News, Luderitz.